but going back to the gym. So you meet up first mm -hmm. time, you start chatting, you build a friendship. You're both doing your individual careers, your individual industries. Was there any property related anything at that point or? No, just parents. Just yeah. parents, that was the common kind of denominator. Yeah, there wasn't any, you. we'd never discussed it really, no. had we? There was not, it was just, uh, my parents are doing their own thing. Laura's parents have been doing their own thing as well. Yeah. But it's never become like a family business. It's just no. individual people. Okay. Um, but then, yeah. It was literally just a social thing. Yeah, I think then... you had an interest for it first, didn't you? Whereas I knew I wanted to go into property and for me, I was saving. So I was, so I'd come out of a, a marriage and then I was basically just like, right, I need to buy a house. So it'd been years and years I was building my credit report and then I was just saving for a deposit. Yep. So for me, I was working nearly 60 hours a week. Wow. Hardly seeing the kids. And just, you're, on, you're on the hamster wheel. Yeah. Just trying yeah. to keep it. I think we were both on the yeah, hamster wheel, yeah, just yeah. like working crazy hours. Yeah. We both wanted to own a house, but for ourselves, yeah. I think we were both naive to yeah. how you can have a house yeah. and all the other property options. Yeah. Yeah. And, and geographically, you're in one of the most expensive parts of the country. Yeah. Right? yeah. You're in Cambridge. Mm -hmm. Big money, big prices, very hard to get on the ladder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we were discussing that earlier. I think the average house, um, first time buyer now in London anyway is probably what mid 50s I think is what I heard on the radio is out of control so you're at this stage where you wanted to get on the property ladder you don't quite know how you come together so so how do we, how, how does it begin how do you get from the gym to you know starting this service accommodation business and, yeah. and where you are today so what's that journey look like whose who's, who's idea my was idea to begin with um, yeah. so my parents had started building a house for their retirement so I'd started sort of exploring property, trying to see tax benefits, just to try and help them out really a little bit. Um, came across Progressive and went to a Masopi, as a lot of people have started their journey. Found serviced accommodation. And with my corporate world, I've done a lot of traveling. So Japan, Hong Kong, China, America. So I've, I've been the other side, I've been the guest. Yeah. Um, so I knew what worked well, what didn't. And I thought, oh, this is something that's got a variety. It's got... You know, you've got the staging, you've got the setups, you can still use your brain. Um, started doing it and I was like, this is a lot. This is a lot. Um, and then I was like, hmm, who would be a great business partner? The only person I could think of was Fatima because we gel so well. Mm -hmm. We've both got a really great work ethic. Um, so I asked her and mm. she didn't even really know what I was talking about and just went, yeah. Yeah. I th it was like four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I think I was just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm always like designated driver. So I was dropping her home. We'd been out. Yeah. And she just said, so I've started this business. I haven't done anything. I've done the training. I've registered yeah. a name, but we can change it. So don't worry. So, um, so, so you drank about five bottles of wine. You was waffling about this business. <laughs> no, idea. she's not actually a big drinker. No, no, she's not a big drinker. <laughs> okay. But there was a few of us, wasn't there? Yeah. And, we, and her and I just sat in the They'd car outside. Into the house. And it was just me and Fats in the car. Yeah. And I was like, um, I spent a lot of money on some training. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you done. And I hadn't told anybody else. Okay. So you've done the initial training by yourself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I think it'd been about three months, hadn't it? Or was it less than that? I think it was you probably were sitting a couple on it. Yeah. I was just sort of like having a mini meltdown about the money that I'd spent and done a bit. Positive procrastination, somebody yeah. called it once, where, yeah, you know, yeah. you set up the company name, you start looking at your website. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. three weeks choosing a company name. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it got to that point and I was just kind of feeling a bit overwhelmed with everything. Yeah. And I thought, you know, there are gaps in my skill set, which Fatima has got those opposite skills, but yeah. then we've also got similar skills and mm. style as well, which is fantastic. Perfect. Yeah. I think that's huge, right? Because so many people, I was having this conversation the other day, so many people come together in business, but they don't realize how important it is to be able to complement each other's weaknesses. Yeah. And a lot of people come together with the exact same skill sets. Mm -hmm. And then they, you know, they're, they're, they're they trying clash to, on yeah, the and they're, yeah. And well, that, but also they're not filling the gap for the weakness. Yeah. yeah. So, so you two complement each other really yeah. well in that respect. Yeah. Well, she just said it to me, didn't you? And I just went, yeah, okay. And it's just that trust that we still have that trust. And that's yeah. our priority And I think the everything. next day, so I remember we were deadlifting and she said to me, she was like, oh, so kind of spent this amount of money. I went, oh, <laughs> like, what the shit has she done? Yeah. <laughs> and I generally thought, oh, gosh, oh, she's doing a pyramid scheme. But she's doing a pyramid scheme. <laughs> like, what the hell is happening? <laughs> yeah, literally. But you were still down for it. You were yeah, down I was like, yeah, yeah. And then she was like, you need to go and do Masopi. And I was like, yeah, 
Yeah, and she was like, it's three days. And you nagged me for a while, didn't yeah. you? And I was like, I don't understand what service accommodation means. I'm quite quite a practical learner. Mm -hmm. That's how I learn. So I have to do the whole experience. I can't read off a textbook and go, right, I got it. Let's go. So You're more of like a visual. You need yes, to be it, feel yeah, it. exactly. Yeah. And she was like, and you were saying to me for a while, weren't you? Yeah. And then I think... In the end, I was like, right, I'll go. I can't go the Friday, though, so I'll go the Saturday and the Sunday because I've got to take Izzy to the hospital. My youngest has all sorts of, like, health issues. So I was like, I'll take him to the hospital, so I've got to go for Saturday, Sunday. She was like, mm, you should do the three days, but okay. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, I'll bring my son with me as well. So, I mean, we we came. And she, you said, didn't you? You were like, I was like don't, don't take, take your, your credit card. She was like, take your credit card. Yeah. She, and I was like... And then she rang me about two hours later, like, um... <laughs> I brought the credit card. Yeah. She's like, I might have brought it. Might have signed up. Okay. <laughs> she was like, I get it. I totally get it. Yeah. Even And the thing is, you will never feel, meet anyone as kind of, not negative, but cautious as mm. my son. He's very good mm. with, like, money. How old's your son? He's 20 now. Oh, wow. So he's very much so like, no, mum. And when he heard one of the speeches, I can't... Was it Kevin? Kevin McDonald. Mm -hmm. I think when Kevin was talking and he just went... No, it was Kate when Kate was talking. And he just went, you could do that. He was like, you could do that. He was like, go and sign it. I was like, don't be silly. He was like, no, 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 go do it. He was like, seriously. He was like... I was like, no, I haven't got the money for it. I was like, I haven't got the money. And he was like, take it with Libby. Message Libby. It's like my daughter. And so I actually ended up phoning it. And I went, look, there's this course... She was like, Mom, if you want to do it, do it. I'll, say, I'll, I'll send you over some of the money. She was getting on a plane. She was on, she was on her way to Italy. She's always getting on a plane. I know. She's living the dream. <laughs> so, so, your, so your son knew that, that you would su succeed in this business. He that could you knew see it. you all, had all the qualities. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's what seal, sealed the deal for me because he is so mm. um, cautious and like questions everything. He's not a r big risk taker yeah. at all. But for him to hear it and say, you know what, I can see you doing that. that he was like, this would be perfect gave for you. Gave you the confidence. Yeah. And I just thought, oh, okay, well, if Laura thinks I can and he thinks I can. <laughs> <laughs> must be real. <laughs> so, Laura, a question. Mm -hmm. um, when you came to, to Fatima with the idea, mm -hmm. had you sourced or taken on a property then? Yeah or not? No, not yet. Okay. I think that was, I want to say maybe February, March time. Mm -hmm. And then we got our first property in May. Okay. So you started together, clean slate, no mm -hmm. properties. Yeah. Okay. And again, this goes back to me not doing my research purposely because I wanted to... I like how you're covering that up. It's yeah. good, good. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I tell you what. Purposely, purposely. I'm, 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 I'm going to be bothered. It's, it's, yeah, I want to feel the vibe, man. I want to feel yeah, the vibe. Yeah, yeah. All right, Alex, get on with it. <laughs> I'm guessing, I'm feeling... Right. right. Okay. That you are branding yourselves as quite a high-end serviced accommodation business. Why would you question that? Is it a luxury, <laughs> is it a luxury brand? It's, is that what you're going it's, for? No, it's, we're going for a corporate brand. Corporate? So corporate luxury? High-end. High-end. High it's high-end. Yeah. It's like good quality, but yeah. accessible and, what's the word, um, approachable, I guess, to yeah. everyone. Like, it's okay. not... Stuffy. Yeah. Um, it's not like right up there. Luxury. What, we're, what, what we're going for is not a brand necessarily for tourists, but a brand for companies. Okay. Yeah. So that's where our direction is. So like clean, transparent, you've got everything you need, yeah. you're well catered for. Oh, yeah. And it's like a nicer level than some of the, you know, the copy and paste people yeah. that you get. Yeah, so it's cars, like yeah. up from that. But okay. you know, you thought luxury because you thought the whole pretty idea. That's where that it, came from. It, I mean, it's, it's, that was, yeah. it's, it's, it's an image. Yeah. It's, it's a brand thing. It's a very nice brand. It's a yeah, very yeah. nice image. And it's what yeah. it's just what well, you... Well, we're actually... I mean... Uh, do you want too much. something hot off the press that yeah. nobody else knows? <laughs> yeah.